Hi stars, welcome to a new video. Today it is Saturday the 29th of October. I can't believe it's almost November. I feel like time in Dubai flies. It definitely weren't going so quickly in Sweden. I feel like it's something with Dubai where time is not realistic at all. So I am traveling to Kurdistan in three days and I need to go to Ransom Irons today. I'm going to Dubai Mall. Kurdistan is not like Dubai at all. It's quite strict. So you're not able to wear like things like this for example i have to definitely buy more covering things also the weather there is kind of like cold during the evening so i definitely don't have anything that suits and later today i have a manicure appointment because this literally happened yesterday and to me that's not allowed at all like i thought instead of just me bringing you guys on a normal day in my life let's kind of make it a twist and throw in a q a so i asked you guys on instagram to send in a couple of questions and you definitely did let me know what you think of this concept down below i would love to do this more often because that way i get to connect with you in a different way so let's go ahead and start with the first question immediately if you were not an influencer what would you do for a living i don't think i've ever thought about this just because i have been working with my social media platforms for the past four to five years and i will say it was not something that i planned it was just me making videos because i was enjoying it and then and my first collaboration ever that I got paid for I think was Salotica Lenses so I just started making affiliating with them and I started having an income and I'm like wow like I can actually make a living off of this and then eventually I started like shifting away from my nine to five and focusing more on social media so it's just something that kind of gradually became my reality before then i studied makeup artist so i'm actually a certified makeup artist and i was working at sephora so at least at the time i was very interested in becoming a worldwide makeup artist actually what i believe i would be doing today if i wasn't doing social media is acting since i was small i've loved to just like be in front of a camera and just put on this character and play a role. This feels super natural to me somehow. That's probably what I feel like I would be doing, either that or study to something. I'm not sure what I would be studying to though, but definitely acting. You guys, look at these track suits that I'm currently wearing. They're the coolest pair of hands ever. They're from PLT. I actually have so many things. Let me show you guys what I got. So this part of the video is in paid collaboration with Pretty Little Thing. Starting off with these track pants, I also picked them up in this navy blue color these are size uk 10 which i probably should have gone for an 8 because i feel like they're already oversized but they are the perfect material for track pants and they also cinch so you can cinch them at the bottom but also at the waist this is the material of the pant up close and as you guys can see it cinches it has pockets and then I will also make sure to link all the pieces down below for you guys to find them easily. The next one is this dress, which you guys have seen two vlogs ago. I wore it going to the cafe. It's perfect for fall. The only thing I would say is the material is a little thin. Definitely be aware of what you're wearing under it. But this is what it looks like up close and goes all the way down. This would be so nice with a pair of chunky boots. I got so many of you guys complimenting it and I can see why because it, like it's so figure hugging. The only thing again is you can see a bit of your underwear. So definitely make sure to wear something close to your natural skin tone and yeah this is not supposed to be there but you guys can see it like it's beautiful and I love that the arms aren't too long either. They're just like ending right there perfectly. This next number is a sheer glittery dress and i hope you guys can see it in the camera it's beautiful like it glitters so nicely and it's so feminine i love the neckline pretty sure you're supposed to wear it like that but i just tried it on off shoulder and i was screaming because this is giving everything if i zoom you up then the material is kind of like a really sheer one with sparkles glitters what do you guys think i would probably even be able to wear this with jeans so like high waisted jeans on top of it but yeah definitely comment down below what you guys think of it is it giving or is it not this next dress is perfect for dubai or literally anywhere in the world why i'm saying dubai is because this is a covering dress it's covering you it's not showing any shape of the body it's just amazing so it's kind of like an abaya but it's not an abaya <laughs> it's a dress it has buttons all the way down and it's the perfect, perfect number, literally. And if you guys live in a cold country, it's even better because it's really thick and um, cozy. The material is so cozy. I got this in a UK 8. It's covered, it's cozy. I feel like you can even wear this like a cardigan if you open up all the buttons. But it's also not giving you any shape, which I do like because you're not always bothered to show off shape, especially in dresses. So 
these are the sleeves they're a bit long the color here is perfect i feel like it's giving sophisticated and um this is a perfect dubai mall outfit actually hmm maybe i should wear this today Literally, i dropped my jaw when i saw this bag on plt it is giving everything so it's just a little small bag that has two knots on the side the material is like that i'm not sure what it's called but this is perfect for any night out any night out and you guys know how much i love purple recently i can't wait to wear this and style this last but not least my loves i have one more dress which i wore yesterday going for dinner i loved it it's so cute so it's this maxi dress that has a colored neckline t-shirt style the only thing with this dress is the neckline kind of flaps so it does that so you kind of have to like keep you know pulling it back but it goes all the way down to your feet it has a slit on the side this is this dress on as you can see it is figure hugging and it goes all the way down to my feet this has two percent spandex which is the reason to why it allows a lot of stretch this is a size uk 8 but i could even wear this in literally like size of four or six so that was all of the pieces i had to share with you guys from plt again i'll make sure to put the links to everything down below as well as my personal sizes i hope you guys enjoyed so we're making our way to dubai mall right now and i thought i could answer a question meanwhile how to make friends in dubai from my experience, it's been through Instagram, social media in general. I'm not the most extrovert person. Actually, I'm very shy in real life. So for me to be able to connect with someone, I feel like that's the easiest way. But in Dubai, generally, there's a lot of events and things happening. So even if you guys are similar to me, you're not an extrovert, just make sure you attend a lot of things and be open like be open to speak to people and again dubai is a city where literally everyone here is trying to make friends i will personally say it's not very difficult but what is difficult is maybe finding your people so you are not always going to find people that you bond with maybe you end up like seeing them a couple of times and then not being best friends forever so that's probably what I feel like I've been struggling with the people that I have from back home are friends that I will keep for the rest of my life because we know each other so well but here you have to be okay with like meeting people and then maybe not being best friends with them but that's okay just make sure you keep trying because that way there's a bigger chance of you finding your people than not we'll say it is also easier if you do move out here with your partner like myself i moved with philip so i haven't had this like urge of meeting so many people like i'm fine most of the time with philip and like the rest of my time i'm working but i also do make sure to connect with swedish girls because you know they're from sweden we basically were from the same place so if you're for example from like us make sure to maybe reach out to people from the us because that way you have something in common but yeah it definitely helps moving out with your partner especially if you're like me and you're shy and an introvert Meanwhile, in the fitting room, we could answer another question, which is how can I start dressing better? I like to be able to dress good. You need to figure out your body type and dress it accordingly. I would say shop to fit your shape instead of shopping trends. And I feel like everyone starts dressing better when they get older in general. You just start getting to know yourself, what you like, what you don't like, but not everything that works for someone is gonna work for you. So I would say when I finessed my body type and what actually flatters it and looks good on it is when I could dress the best. So skip what everyone else is wearing and focus on the body type 
and fabrics and clothes that are flattering for your body type. Guys, Dubai Mall got so packed at around 4 p.m. So we just left. I wait to go get my nails done now and I couldn't really do any questions at Dubai Mall again because there was so many people. Like I even tried to film one time and um, the guy, what is it called? The security. the security guy came to tell me that I couldn't film. So here I am in the car. I'm gonna do another question. This question goes, how did you become so independent? Only thing that made me independent is actually earning my own money. I feel like emotionally it can be tough at first, but you will definitely get over that. But independency mainly comes from being able to provide for yourself and make a living for yourself, taking care of yourself, and also maybe be able to save some money on the side. So my independency 100% comes from me earning my own money. Out of all the places in the world, why did you choose Dubai and not, for example, LA, New York, etc i've never been to the us so it would be very strange for me to just move out there like all of a sudden but first time i came to dubai i fell in love with the city the way everything is so beautiful like almost unreal i think that's definitely what made me hooked at first when i looked into it a lot of things actually really were amazing so like the tax benefits obviously the weather here the safety this is something i cannot stress enough Dubai is probably the safest country in the entire world i have never in my dubai life experienced feeling unsafe or going out seeing a group of maybe young men like smoking or doing drugs or or anything like that like you just don't experience that in Dubai people are so afraid of the laws here because it is so strict you can like literally get lifetime for smoking weed that's definitely like one of the main reasons I love Dubai so much whenever I go back to Sweden I feel it the last reason is definitely the amount of opportunities there are here for someone who wants to build something create something their own brand whatever there is there are so many opportunities here. There are so many people to network with. Good morning guys, it is 10 a.m. the next day and as you can see I am on the beach. I love being on the beach. While I'm here I thought we could answer some more questions because yesterday was so busy at Dubai Mall that I couldn't film. What do you do after feeling anxious a long day? Like what do you do to reset and zen? I'll just want to come home to take a long hot shower and just be in there for like 45 minutes and then I'll get out to do a face mask, order some food, get in bed, watch something that I have watched before usually, that being a movie I love or a show I love, something that's comforting and just not be on my phone really. Like I feel like anxiety comes from me hanging on my phone too much sometimes. Also just focusing on being present because I feel like thoughts of past and future can lead to even more anxiety. So I'm just like, trying to distract myself in the moment okay this next question goes what do you love about living in dubai and i think i have made it very clear what i love about living in dubai but one thing i haven't even told you guys that i love so much about living here is probably the fact that you can live a very normal life but then it can feel like vacation whenever you want it to feel like vacation you know it's not like you have to travel somewhere for you to get that holiday vibe it's literally right around the corner but also the everyday life can feel very normal as in like working, doing all the normal stuff. I know some people might assume Dubai is just a holiday destination, but it is not. Like you can live a very, very normal life here. I'm gonna jump in the water now. It's getting a bit hot here. And also put you guys down because I can feel stirrings. Not gonna say from who, but <laughs> I can definitely feel it. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.